Welcome to another edition of A New Me, your weekly consultation with the Washington, D.C. area's best doctors and professionals. Our guest experts help you learn about the latest medical advances and procedures by providing you with the real information necessary to help you eliminate the dangers of making the wrong medical and cosmetic enhancement decisions. Get ready for your consultation. Coming up, we will be on location in Alexandria, Virginia, discussing hyoid suspension, a highly effective procedure that can treat sleep apnea and eliminate the associated risks with one of this region's top ENT physicians, Dr. Michael Abedin. Dr. Abedin received his medical degree from the University of Virginia in Charlottesville, Virginia, and completed his residency and fellowship from Johns Hopkins University Hospital. Dr. Abedin is widely recognized as one of this region's top ENT physicians. Welcome back, Dr. Abedin. Great. It's a pleasure to have you back on our program. Uh, last time you were on, you were talking about a breakthrough procedure uh, that you were helping so many folks with when it comes to the balloon sinuplasty. And today we're here to talk about the hyoid suspension procedure that can really uh, help a lot of folks out there who suffer from sleep apnea and associated problems. But I wanted to begin by having you tell us, if you, may, if you will, uh, what sleep apnea is and how prevalent it is. Well, obstructive sleep apnea is the cessation of breathing, technically for 10 seconds, and um, it disrupts pa patient sleep. Now, it's a little bit more, it's more sleep disordered breathing, technically, but there are different problems with breathing, there are uh, people that stop for longer periods of time, or their oxygen desaturation goes lower. But without being too technical, the, anything that will disrupt your sleep will, will disrupt your health. Yes. That can be diabetes, hypertension, weight gain, all sorts of uh, issues. Yes. Uh, we've all heard about how uh, common this problem is. I mean, millions of folks out there suffer from it. We are always uh, NFL fans, uh, no oh, Reggie sure. White, uh, years back, uh, Hall of Fame, NFL defensive uh, end from the well, well, the Eagles died of that. I'll tell you a quick story, and I don't know if they'll make this in, sure. I'll tell you a quick story. I operated on a guy in uh, Christmas Eve several years ago, so I'm in the office yes. Christmas Eve, and uh, I told him that he will play with or played against somebody who will die from sleep apnea. Mm. And that night, Reggie White died, Oh my! and he had played with him for years. Oh my goodness, and you just said that to him earlier yeah. in the day. And because it, I spent many years earlier in my career kind of trying to ring the bell and convince people that it was a problem. Yes. So it's funny how we always fight the last war. That's right. I'm That's like, right. it is a problem. And people That's are like, right. of course it's a problem. And I'm yes. like, oh, I don't have to do that anymore. Yeah, because now it's on the map uh, in the media and everyone's very, very well aware of it, e even though they should have been much sooner. Like sure. you were when you were uh, letting people know about it, because a lot of folks, unfortunately and tragically, can die from it. Absolutely. And that's just one example. Sure. So I wanted to ask you, how does a person out there who's watching right now know if they're suffering from sleep apnea as opposed to some other sleep disorder? Well, there's, a, there's some uh, data that bed partners are not necessarily the best indicators of how severe or whether or not people have apnea. But certainly some of the hallmarks are fatigue, loud snoring, but it can be things, subtle things like change in personality, weight gain. And so um, if somebody's having a myriad of problems and they approach their doctor and they're not sleeping well, yes. and so if you ask them a lot of questions, sometimes you won't get to the heart of it. If you ask them, are you sleeping well, and they, then they'll say no. Yes. And that, that gets, uh, brings you home the easiest. I got you. No, that's certainly helpful. And what would you say are some of the typical symptoms of sleep apnea? They're daytime fatigue, okay. morning headaches, uh, difficulty with concentration and short-term memory. Um, those are some of the bigger ones. And what would you say are some of the associated risks with it? Well, that's uh, another uh, problem that's being widely recognized now. People that have jobs that uh, lend themselves to automatic behavior, like uh, driving a long haul trucker, 
a lot of times what they'll do is they'll have fatigue and not even realize they're fatigued. And then they'll engage in an automatic behavior before they actually realize what they're doing and before they kind of come to, and sometimes it's too late. So, a lot of industrial accidents. Yes. And what would you say are some of the treatment options that are available for this? There are some very non-invasive dental appliances and procedures, and uh, you wear something in, in your mouth at night. They, those can be helpful. There um, are pressure devices. The uh, general term for them is CPAP, but they have BiPAP and BiFlex and, you know, but basically it's a pressure device that either covers your mouth or your nose and assists the person while they're breathing at night. Mm. And how effective has, are those treatments right there? They're, they're very effective, but not for everybody. Yeah. Some people don't respond to them, and some people just can't stand to wear them, and some people it disrupts their sleep almost as much as the apnea does. Yes. But when it works, it can be very effective. Okay, very interesting. So there, those are some of the more traditional options when sure. combating sleep apnea. Now that brings me, doctor, to today's topic and, and this wonderful treatment that we've done a lot of research on and hearing great things about as far as the results that it's producing, and that's the hyoid suspension procedure. And I wanted to ask you if you can please tell us about that. Yes. The hyoid suspension is an older procedure, and there are a couple different methods where you put sutures and hold things together. And there are different techniques that were involved that weren't quite as effective. And it's born out of the fact that the other procedures tend to be throat-based procedures, where you take tonsils and soft palate. And those procedures tend to be very painful. People take a week off work and they're very uncomfortable. And they're not all that effective. So you have something that's very uncomfortable and isn't all that effective. Yes. So I started working years ago on modifying a hyoid suspension, making two very small incisions, in keeping with the last topic that we talked about, trying to make things painless and, and as possible and as minimally invasive. And so what the procedure that's different than some of the traditional ones is two little incisions, not a lot of tissue trauma, and then not cutting any of the muscles, and forcefully pulling the whole kind of throat apparatus forward. And, and that's what got the video shows. And what that does is then opens people's airways so that they air comes down and they breathe better. The interesting phenomena is people will say they feel better breathing sometimes that day, sometimes the next day, from the hyoid, something we never got from the throat-based procedures. Mm, very interesting, and speaking of the hyoid pr uh, procedure, we actually have a couple of patients we're now gonna meet. Let's hear what the results have been on that. We're now gonna meet Joe and John, who are patients of Dr. Abedance. Welcome, Joe, it's great to have you on our program. Hi, how are you, it's good to be here. All right, let me just start right off, if I may, by asking you, Joe, what brought you to Dr. Abedance? Well, I have uh, severe sleep apnea. I have uh, had many years of lack of sleep, broken sleep, and um, I came in, my wife uh, came in for another procedure, and he recommended that I come in because uh, she told him about my, uh, my uh, snoring, my severe snoring. Oh my goodness, so that's been afflicting you, as you just touched on, for quite some time. Absolutely. And not only interrupting sleep, which makes it a, a tough day the following day, right? Without yeah, a good it sleep. It absolutely does. Get, not getting sleep uh, affects my energy level. Uh, I like to work out. I like to play with my kids. Yes. And uh, it's, it's tough. You feel like you need to take naps during the day, and yes. it's tough to get through. Yes, a lot of folks have sleep apnea. So then what happened? You came here. To Dr. Abedin and what took place? Well, we looked at different procedures. We were trying to figure out what was best for me. Um, I'm very severe. He called me an outlier. Um, so we recommended uh, the hyoid suspension and um, I did a little bit of research and liked the fact that it was uh, very simple and uh, looked like it wasn't very invasive. And um, so we came in and, uh, and here I am. And how long did that take for you? Um, the procedure didn't take but maybe 30 minutes. That's it? That's it. Okay. So what happened that night when you got home? Well, when I got home, it was, uh, it was nice. Um, I actually took a nap in, on the couch with my kids because uh, um, I was tired from getting up so early to go to the procedure. And it was the first time they actually said, Dad, you were quiet. 
I was not snoring. I wasn't making any any sounds. Uh, it was very restful. They were seeing it was very peaceful. So the start of it was great. That's wonderful. So in other words, what you just told us, Joe, is after the Heinowitz suspension procedure, that day earlier, that for same night, you ha you didn't snore. Absolutely. You it, were fine. I can tell my tongue is uh, not falling down in my throat. Um, I experienced it during that nap, so I was looking forward to going to bed and getting a great night's sleep. That's wonderful. We're very happy to hear that, and I'm sure your wife and kids are very happy with the results as well. Oh, absolutely. My wife was very concerned about me. She would wake up at night, and she'd hear me snoring. Sometimes she'd hear me not breathing, and she was getting very concerned. So yes. that's where uh, we, needed, we knew we needed to do something drastic. Yes, indeed. So it certainly changed your life uh, m for the much better. Oh, absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm getting more and more sleep. Um, I'm, uh, you know, my blood pressure is going down. Uh, even during the day, I can feel myself breathing and, and my tongue doesn't get in the way. So it's, it's got a big effect. Um, I can't wait for another year or so to go by to really see how things turn out. And as far as all the folks out there, Joe, that are watching right now, what would you tell them about Dr. Abaddon? I think doc, Dr. Abaddon's great. Um, I enjoy the staff. Um, when I come in here, he's easy to talk to. Um, we talk about personal things. Um, I know a lot more about him than I, you know, his personal life than I thought I would know about a doctor. So uh, he's, he's comfortable to come to and, uh, and talk about the procedures because I even ask him about different procedures and uh, we almost debate it or talk about it at length and uh, he walks me through why different procedures are better than others and that's how we came to, uh, to do what we did now. Well, on that note, I'd like to thank you, Joe. We're so happy for you and your family. That's wonderful news on, on how you are and, and the results you've had. And thanks again for joining us and being a guest in our program. We really appreciate it, Joe. Absolutely. I'm glad I could share it. It's great to have you on as well, John. Thank you. Appreciate it. Our pleasure. We wanted to start right off as well with you as we did with Joe a few sure. moments ago by asking you to please tell us what problem were you experiencing that brought you to Dr. Abaddon? Originally, it uh, was a friend of family who had a, bad allergies, and I was having allergy problems, um, I thought. And I, I came in, he took a look at me, um, diagnosed me with uh, sleep apnea. Oh. And... Um, straighten me. I had some allergy problems that, that he was able to help out with, but um, we got to the root cause, which was sleep apnea. So you came in, like you said, after yeah. suffering from, from these problems, yeah. the allergies, and yes. found out during the uh, consultation yes. and through the diagnostic process that it was sleep apnea that Correct. was afflicting you. Correct. And then what was uh, recommended at, after that? To do? So, so um, he took a good look at everything that was going on. Um, we decided to go get a sleep study done. We needed to confirm that it was sleep apnea. Okay. We, we, he signed me up for, for doing that. Okay. Um, along with the sleep apnea, he saw lots of signs of uh, sinus issues. So I had a, a, um, a, a scan done uh, um, of your head. Okay. <laughs> I forget the, the official name of it. Sure. But the type of scan. And he was able to see inch by inch. He goes up th through it with you, the pictures that are resulted from that. And um, he can show you how good or bad or messed up your sinus cavities are. Oh, boy. So I had two things going on. I had sleep apnea and I had bad sinuses. That, so he um, recommended, after we confirmed that I did have sleep apnea, um, that um, I get a hyoid and I get my sinuses fixed. So mm -hmm. he did two things in one operation. Wonderful. So, so through the hyoid su suspension yes, yes. procedure, you not only took care of your sleep apnea problem, yes but also both problems, the both allergies problems. as yes, well. exactly. Yeah, so it, so it was allergies, right? Yeah. Allergies, yeah. And uh, um, the, so he was able to go in, fix, straighten out my sinuses and clear them out, and then um, fix my sleep apnea issues um, uh, by the hyoid. And how long did that take, that procedure? Well, that, it was um, a, couple, a, few, a couple hours, I suppose. That's it? That put me out, yeah. Okay. So I, I came in um, uh, really early in the morning. For some reason, the surgeons, I guess, like doing things early um, and uh, got it done right there in the morning, uh, woke up and went home. Wonderful. So, yeah. Did you have to have somebody take you home? Or were you able to drive? Yeah, my wife. My, my wife. Oh, good. Took the day off and took me home. And how do you feel today? Perfect. Um, I've lost like 20 pounds. I have had tons of energy when I wake up um, before seeing Dr. Abaddon. Um, I'd wake up and was tired. It was a horrible feeling, and I was tired all day long. 
Wow, so it's radically changed your life. You've got the energy back. You're yes. getting a good night's sleep. Yes. I'm sure your wife's happy. Yes. <laughs> That's wonderful. And on that note, uh, before I let you go, I wanted to ask you, John, what would you tell all the folks out there that are watching? Um, don't be scared of this. Um, uh, if you, um, I, I, I didn't want to do this mask thing, um, and uh, I've heard hor horrible things about it, and it's not for me because I travel a lot, and I don't want to be carrying around um, this machine to help you sleep. So um, having, finding out that there's something, another option out there, was uh, perfect for me. Which you had done here yes. with Dr. Abbott in the yes. hyoid suspension. Yes. And, uh, and it only took a couple hours. Yeah, all, all that's left of, of it is a, just a little tiny scar on your, on your chin here. So that's it? That's it. Can't even notice it? Yeah, don't really notice it. But look how it's improved your life, yes, right? Yes, and I've gotten tons of energy and I can work out now and, um, and lost 20 pounds. So I feel like like a younger guy. Well, that's great, John. On that note, we'd like to thank you for joining us, sharing your experience sure. as well. Thank you. Appreciate it. We're now back with the good doctor. Dr. Abedin, I must say, Joe and John, very pleased with the results. Uh, the hyoid suspension procedure has uh, done wonders for both of them and certainly have knocked out the sleep apnea issues. Their spouses are much happier, not to mention they have a lot more energy in their life back. Great, great. And what would you say are some of the major benefits of this procedure, the hyoid suspension procedure, compared to some of the other options that you were touching on that were more on the dental related side? Well, one of the things that we had while we were performing these procedures throughout the, the history of it, and I sometimes apologize for being older than I look, um, but when we were doing this 20 years ago, one of the problems is we couldn't cure everybody, and that's more like Joe's story. He had some traditional oral-based surgery and was not cured. So what we were able to do was take somebody who'd had a procedure and actually bring him home, cure him, resolve his sleep apnea, not everybody, but resolve his sleep apnea with a minimally invasive outpatient procedure, no hospital stay, minimal pain, and they've told you, but I have many people that will drop by work the next day, uh, go to the store, um, be because it's not painful. That's wonderful, doctor, and I would think because it's so minimally invasive, a lot simpler, you simplify everything, uh, no pain, that I, and it takes a much shorter amount of time to get it done uh, on each patient, I would sure. think it's also less expensive than the traditional options. Oh, sure, well there's all the other costs that are associated with both medical and, and the social costs. They yes. don't have to have somebody stay home for several days with them and they don't have to uh, have pain, get an IV in the emergency room, require injections of pain medicine, all of those issues. The other patient um, is interesting because this is my current area of study and I'm very excited about this. Um, he had sleep apnea, which is what I call in the low severe range. So it's in the severe range, but it's not severe, severe, severe. And I was able to cure him with a nasal-based procedure and a hyoid suspension. Mm -hmm. Now again, it's not everybody, but yeah. it sure is wonderful for me to be able to cure somebody of their apnea with a fairly non-invasive procedure. Yes, indeed. No, it's uh, the benefits uh, speak for themselves. Joe and John are just a couple of the many, many patients that have greatly benefited from the hyoid suspension procedure that we're so happy to have on uh, you today discussing and educating us about. Now, I wanted to ask you another question related to this procedure, and that is, are the results that we've been hearing about and seeing permanent? Well, that's a good question. Um, any device that you put in a body ha will have a lifetime, and I had a d discussion with a very famous sleep doctor about this, and uh, so I have hyoid suspensions done the method that I'm doing now, certainly many of them four and five years out. I have some tongue suspension procedures that are 14 years out, and that's consistent with the company as well. So uh, in my way of thinking about it, if you can do a minimally invasive procedure that lasts 10 years, even if you had to do it again, I. I I tell you, most of the people would say, just sign me up. Exactly. Oh, for obvious reasons. Sure. There are big benefits right there. And we don't know, could they last 20 or 30 years? I believe they could. I believe they could. 
Well, on that note, I'd love to thank you, Dr. Abedin, for joining us again, being on our program, educating us on this wonderful procedure, the hyoid suspension uh, treatment, which is helping so many folks out there uh, eliminate their sleep apnea problems, and we'd love to have you back on in the future again. Fantastic, and it's been an honor to help them. Thank you.